details tonight about a young man who was severely burned on a bus in Oakland and the 16 year old who is accused of setting him on fire. KTV's Eric Rasmussen is live now in San Francisco where the victim is being treated for his burns. Eric. Julie, this 18 year old who goes by Sasha Fleischman is in the burn unit here at St. Francis Memorial Hospital. I briefly spoke with his parents tonight who said they were simply too upset to go on camera. Some of Fleischman's other family and friends are expressing relief tonight that police have a suspect in custody. Police say this 16 year old in a hood and handcuffs did the unthinkable, setting a sleeping passenger on fire on the AC Transit Line 57 bus in Oakland. Pulled up right behind him. This woman told us her bus arrived on the scene at MacArthur and Ardley Avenue last night, moments after the bus carrying the victim and suspect pulled over. We saw the guy who was laying out there burned. Is he in bad shape? Yeah, he was in bad shape. His legs was all burnt up red and black. Today, friends of 18 year old Sasha Fleischman set up a website to raise money to help pay for his medical treatment. His parents tell us he's a senior at Maybeck High School in Berkeley. Everybody started yelling. They was like, fire, fire, and I turned around, and this guy, he was like jumping up and down. Witnesses said the victim appeared to be wearing a kilt or a skirt, but police don't have a motive. They say the suspect, a student at Oakland High School, didn't know Sasha Fleischman. We rode the same bus line through Oakland tonight. This man commended his fellow bus driver for taking quick action and calling for help. You ever had any trouble on this line before? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Most of the time it's okay, but uh, not every day is sunshine. I'll put it to you that way. Oakland police say they tracked their suspect down using surveillance video from the bus. They tell us the victim, Fleischman, is in stable condition here tonight with second and third degree burns. We're live in San Francisco, Eric Rasmussen, KTVU Channel 2 News.